Hi guys, this is Bianca again. Um, and I'd like to go through the emotional features that we have available on the API. So currently there are five different um, emotional features available on the API. Uh, we're constantly working on um, adding new features um, for various verticals. Um, just as a reminder, Beyond Verbal has a cloud-based API. Um, which enables you to integrate emotional um, analytics and a new layer of emotional data to your solution or your wearable or your application. So the first uh, two emotional features I want to talk about is called valence and arousal. Both of these features are um, measured on a score of 0 to 100. Valence is a variable which uh, measures how positive or negative a respondent or the, the user is. So if you had a score of zero, the user would be very negative, whereas someone with a score of 100 would be very positive. Arousal measures how excited um, the user is. Um, so on a score of zero, he would be more bored, tranquil, even, um, you know, placid, whereas the higher the, the score, the more aroused or excited uh, the user would be. Now, many of our features can be combined to form a new feature um, or to give new insights. So when you combine valence and arousal, you can measure how excited someone was about a topic or a conversation um, in either a positive or a negative way. And here I'm going to show you an example of people that like or dislike Donald Trump. So someone who would adore Donald Trump would have a higher arousal, so he would be excited about Donald, and he would also have a high valence, so he would be positively excited. Whereas people who dislike Donald Trump would have a high arousal, but a very low valence, for example. And obviously the, the variance can be between um, these two measurements, depending on how the, the speaker would feel at that given time of speaking. The next feature I would like to talk about is um, temper. So temper is a reading that basically analyzes the overall temperament of the speaker. Um, it can also be measured on a score of 0 to 100, um, but we can also cluster them into two ma uh, three main groups. Sorry, The first group would be high temper, and this is associated with emotions of confrontation or aggressiveness. We have medium temper, which is usually more embraceable or happy mood groups. Um, and then you have a low temper, which is associated more to somber feelings or even depressive feelings. So it's a very basic um, output, but it has so much value and it can be integrated into so many different applications. Just as a really simple use case, you could have a toy or an application that, um, based on the temper score, could change colors or send a notification. So when, for example, your child is sad while he's playing, you would get uh, or either the toy's color could turn blue, for example, the tummy, or on the application, you would get a blue a notification. The next feature uh, we're discussing is called composite moods. So the whole uh, emotions analytics feature started with this specific feature. We're able to analyze more than 430 different types of combined emotions. So this can vary from action from conviction or action uh, to control. So you can see it's, it's very varied and um, it gives a lot of granular insight into the speaker's uh, specific emotions. Um, and to get a better understanding of the type of outputs you can get when you, when you use the specific feature, you can download our demo application called Moody's from either iOS or Google, and uh, you can have a look um, and see exactly the outputs that, that it gives. And again, this can be used in a variety of different solutions or applications. Um, the last feature that I'd like to talk about is called mood groups. So what we've done in many verticals, such as market research, for example, having 430 emotions was too much information to convey. So we've clustered many of the emotions together into 11 main mood groups. And as you can see, they correlate um, very nicely with the temperament score. So we have um, mood groups that ranges all the way from depressive mood groups going through self-controlled, embraceive, and then aggressive. This measurement is shown as a distribution score of percentage. So emotions are very complicated and you can feel lonely or unfulfilled in the same time that you're feeling love and happy. So just to give you some more detailed insights, here you can see a detailed graph um, explaining what each and every single uh, mood group means. 
Um, we have the full set of uh, documentation available on our developer site, and we highly recommend that you read through the document to get a better understanding of the type of features we have. We're always available in case you need additional information or have questions for us. Um, we're always here to brainstorm with you to see which emotional feature would, will best meet your objective. Thank you, and speak to you soon.